historians agree that the original roller coasters were the Russian ice slides. These roller coasters were made of lumber with a thick sheet of ice covering the wood. Riders would climb up a ladder situated at the back of the ride, then slide down. These coasters were more popular between the upper class and were decorated to give a more wealthy look. Furthermore, coasters were used in winter festivals that allowed many large sleds at once. POV of a Russian ice slide. from France would see these coasters and bring the idea to France. The French called these primitive roller coasters Russian mountains. That's why in Spanish roller coasters are called Montañas Russas, which translates to Russian mountains. In the year 1802, the first wheeled coasters opened in Paris. This can be an example of collective learning. As roller coasters increased in popularity, operators as a selling technique increased the size of the coasters and how fast they went. However, safety measures couldn't keep up with the increased accident rates, which increased the injuries and falling public interest in coasters. This caused the roller coasters to be taken down one by one. The roller coasters were warranted for 1874. A company by the name of Mount Chunk started turning people one dollar for a one and a half hour round trip around their old coal mine. Many people saw the success of this primitive coaster and started made building their own. In 1884, a man by the name of Lamarcus Thompson built a coaster with cars going through stations and Genta Hills, which would end up on a parallel track coming back to the first station. Again in 1884, a man by the name of Charles Alco opened a coaster that would incorporate the first use of the mobile track design. Finally in 1885, Philip Hinkle started using chain belts to bring the carts up, which would save the customer a trip to the top. These roller coasters would hit their peak in the 1920s, with over 1,500 ro wooden roller coasters active at the same time in the U.S. However, due to economic and material shortages during World War II, these coasters were unfortunately dismantled one by one. For Forever Change in 1959, when Walt Disney opened their steel roller coaster. By the late 1990s, the U.S. had o over 200 roller coasters installed and had an increase of roller coaster usage each annual year. During the 70s and 80s, a renewed interest in older classic designs caused a surge of newer roller coasters to be made out of wood. More modern era roller coasters are contemporary and computer generated. The roller coaster consists of using both steel and wood while providing different kinds of carts for riders to be in. While taking a closer look at advancements in technologies, major innovations in steel coasters can be seen. First, Ohio-made coasters combining wooden structures with steel tubular tracks as well as coasters with magnetic propulsion launch systems. Then, California offers Vortex and the world's first fourth dimension roller coaster. Lastly, Six Flags has introduced inverted coasters and flying coasters, consisting of the prone position and state-of-the-art electromagnetic motors. designs have gotten bigger and faster as more and more countries and continents have gotten into the roller coaster business. As of now, coaster designers are looking for newer ways to give riders a thrill with longer and faster rides.
have made a huge improvement with Gorilla conditions like safety, material innovation, new technology, and economic stability. Before, the earliest roller coasters had speeds of 20 miles per hour and were considered to be the most breakneck, thrilling experience there is. Now, roller coasters can go faster than 90 miles per hour, and the future holds great things like using magnetism for maglev trains that originated in China for coasters.